Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use a form validation script. Uh, it uses HTML code for the form and it uses JavaScript for the validation. Okay, the idea behind this form um, is that if a user comes to your site and you want to get some information from them, you want to make sure that they fill out their first name, last name, email, password, and then confirm their password. You want to make sure to get all these fields and uh, if if you don't get those fields then we don't submit the form and the user gets an error message and can proceed to fill in the fields that have not been filled in. Now for the sake of this example uh, we haven't put any fancy frames in here or any tables or anything like that to make this form look nice and neat. Uh, just for simplicity it's just pretty basic and when I show you the HTML code you'll, you'll understand why. Okay, now let me show you how this thing works. A user comes to your site, you want to get some information from them. Now if they hit the submit button, you don't want to get a blank uh, field in your database or uh, in your email or anything like that. So if they hit submit and they haven't done anything, you know, it warns them that they need to supply their first name and when they click OK, it goes back to the field. Okay, now if they put their name in and they try it again, and they don't fill anything out else in, you can see that it says that you need to supply your last name and it goes back over to the last name field. Now if they put their last name in and they try it again, then they have to put in their email. They go back and put their email in and they try it again. They need to put their password. Now because the password field is, is uh, encrypted so nobody can see it, you see that? That's, that's designed so people looking over your shoulder can't see the password. So if he puts a password in one, two, three, four, and then he tries to put in his uh, confirmed password and he puts in one, two, three, five, maybe accidentally, and he tries to submit it, it'll say your passwords don't match, please confirm your password. Now if he gets his password correct and everything is filled out properly, they get their uh, submission. Now I have just put this little message here to show you on this demonstration but normally after they hit it everything was correct it would go into your database or shoot you an email or whatever it is that you want them to do. So they have completed the form and all is good you got all your fields, fields filled out and everything is the way you want it. Now let me show you how this works. Okay, here's what all the HTML code looks like that created our form that we were looking at. Okay, we have uh, two parts of this, and the first part is the actual form, which you can see on the page, and then we have the script, which is just above it here, which you cannot see. Okay, that's the end of the script, and then right up here is the top of the script. Okay, now this is pretty simple, and you don't really need to you know try to understand everything uh, but what you may want to know is how to edit it and modify it to suit your needs okay uh, here we have our first name last name email password and confirm password and then here we have our actual button that when they click on the button it runs the script which is called button actions okay now let's look back up here at the script you can see our function called button actions okay and the first thing it does is it checks to see if the first name value is there. And if it's not there, it gives them an alert that says you need to supply your first name. So you can change you know, what the user sees uh, by changing that text right there. And it just goes on uh, to the last name, the email, the password, and the confirm password. Now, if everything looks good, now we can submit it. Okay, now I have commented out the actual submission part of the script. So it doesn't actually go anywhere right now. It just gives us an alert that says, hey, congratulations, you have completed the form. But in the real world, you want this to actually submit to a page. So what you do is you uh, comment this alert out by adding two forward slashes in front of it like so, and then removing the forward slashes uh, on the real submit part of the script like so. Now the other thing that you'll have to do is just add in the page that you're going to submit to. So when they submit 
you know, it's going to go to another page and uh, it's either going to add the information to your database or maybe send you an email, something of that nature. Now, let me just show you, I'm going to comment these back and I'm going to show you how you can add a field, you know, to your form. Say, for instance, maybe you might want to have, um, you know, the user's phone number, for instance. Okay, let me show you how to do that. Down here in the form part of the script, right here, uh, we decide where we want to put our phone number field. I think a good spot for it would be right after the email field. So here's how we do this. It's pretty simple. Just copy the email field, like so, and paste it underneath it, like that, and then just change the name. Oops, phone, and then change the name of the input field to phone. Okay? I like to keep the actual field names in lowercase because they don't really see that, but they do see this, this part here. Now, the other thing that we have to do, step two, is to add it to our script. Okay? So we want to find our email because that's where it's going under. And to do this, we can just copy this email part of the script and copy it and then paste it underneath it same way as it is on the form and then we just want to change these things that say email to say phone okay so we'll say phone and then we want to change email to phone and I'm going to change this part here this is where it focuses in on the field if they don't fill it out it goes back to the, the field that they need to fill in. So that would be the phone field. And then you just change your alert message. Okay, now your alert message might say you need to supply your phone number. Okay, now we've just added a new field to our form. We add it to the script and we added it to our form. Now let's have a look at the form and give it a test. Okay, we're back at our form. And I'm going to go ahead and fill these in real fast. John Smith and John, oops, John at Smith.com. Okay, now they didn't put their phone number in, so when they hit the submit button, it says you need to supply your phone number. They click OK and it goes back to the phone number field. You see how that works? So if they add that in, and then they put a password, and they confirm their password correctly, and they submit it, then the form takes off and you're done. Appreciate you being with me on this little tutorial and uh, hopefully it'll help you out.